Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm super excited to walk you through installing Prusa Slicer on Windows 11. Whether you're new to 3D printing or looking to switch to a fantastic slicing software, you're in the right place, so let's dive right in. First off, let's open up our favorite web browser. You can use Chrome, Firefox, or any browser that you feel comfortable with. Now type in prusa3d.com in the address bar. Once the page loads, navigate to the download section found usually at the top of the page or in the menu. Here you'll find Prusa Slicer, that's what we're after today. Click on Prusa Slicer to get to the download page. You'll see different versions here. Since we're focusing on Windows 11, make sure to download the version that's labeled for Windows. Click on the Windows icon under the Stable Versions tab to start your download. It might take a couple of minutes depending on your internet speed, so grab a cup of coffee in the meantime. Got it downloaded? Great. Let's move on to the installation. Find the downloaded file in your downloads folder and double click to open it. This will start the setup wizard. It's really straightforward from here, just follow the on-screen instructions. Hit next on the welcome screen, agree to the license terms, make sure to read through them and continue following the prompts. Choose your preferred setup type and click install. The installer will take care of the rest. While it's installing, let me tell you a bit about why Prusa Slicer is so cool. Not only does it support all the Prusa printers, but it's also fantastic for many other models from different brands. It's got loads of features to play with which can really dial in your print quality. All right, looks like it's installed. You might want to pin it to your taskbar for easy access. I always do. Now open Prusa Slicer. The first time you run it, it might ask you to import settings from other software or start fresh. I recommend starting fresh to see what Prusa Slicer has to offer by default. And there you have it. Prusa Slicer is now installed on your Windows 11 machine and you're ready to slice models for your next 3D printing project. Wasn't too hard, right? So play around with the settings and don't hesitate to dive into some tutorials to really get the most out of your slicing software. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more 3D printing tips and tricks. Have any questions or want to see more content like this? Drop a comment below. I love hearing from you guys. Until next time, happy printing.